I want to thank everybody for hopping on today. Today we're going to be going over our Lutron Pro. Uh, we are actually joined by Liz Tayaz, uh, and I hope I didn't <laughs> butcher your last name. Um, Liz, are you there? Hello, yes. Hello, can you hear me? I can me? hear you. Perfect. I can. Well, I'm going to let, uh, I'm going to hand it over to you, Liz, and uh, let you talk more about uh, what Lutron's got going on. Great. Thank you so much, Chris. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Liz Tyhas. I am a senior sales engineer uh, working directly for Lutron Corporate. Uh, I cover 11 Midwest states uh, and I'm on a regional team. Um, so uh, I would be your direct contact as well as MRL company in Minnesota um, for uh, any questions you would have on Lutron. Today, um, we will be covering uh, Lutron Pro. So there are a few updates to that program. Um, if there are any of you who are already Lutron Pros, um, we'll talk a little bit about uh, some updates for you. And that, then for those who are not, a little bit more about how to sign up. Uh, we'll go over the new Lutron Shades program. It has changed. So whether or not you are already uh, an account with us, there are some details we need to go over. Uh, Maestro controls update, so standalone and system. And then lastly, we'll go over Radio Raw 2 Select um, to, and review all of uh, the programming details, what's changed with it, and some new features that have been added to it. So first for Lutron Pro, um, for those who are not already Lutron Pro uh, contractors, Essentially what it is, is Lutron's program just uh, for your rewards and also to get visibility from the Lutron team for the amount of business you're doing. Um, it is great for pros who are doing Lutron systems. So that is Caseda, Ratu Select, Radio Ratu. Um, those products actually automatically, once you have an account number and you put it in on your uh, you know, contractor mode page, once you put that account number in, any product that is on the system, including shades, will actually be added to basically your bank of points. And with your bank of points, you can buy uh, products. So that means you could accumulate enough points to build an entire Caseta system for essentially free. It's like free money. Um, and also whatever you sell, um, we will be aware of and we can help you actually um, succeed with Lutron and get to the next level there. Uh, what's new is for those who are not Lutron Pros, uh, there is a new Lutron Pro application. Um, it is brand new and it is all digital. And all you have to do is go in, fill out a couple of uh, questions and then input a uh, purchase order of Caseda or Rotfu Select. Um, it could also be Radio Rotfu and that then qualifies you for the program. Um, so if you have any questions on that, uh, feel free to reach out to Capital and their team. Uh, it is extremely easy, and we are actually more than willing to sign you up. We just need to make sure that you've purchased uh, the qualifying product. Oh, okay. So um, for Lutron Shades, um, so Lutron Shades, it's known as the triathlon product. So that's our battery powered shade that can go up to 12 feet by 12 feet. Um, you can also do it in a wired version. And with, the, with having a Lutron account, you actually get access to an automated drapery track line as well called Drapery Light. Um, so if you are in homes where you see an opportunity to start putting in automated shades. Uh, I can confirm that it is a good investment. Um, fun fact, uh, Lutron's business, about half of the revenue, uh, sales revenue that we make is now automated shades. So, um, and I will say those who have sold a lot of Lutron in the past with lighting control systems, their business has also followed suit. So they're about, 50% uh, of their sales revenue from Lutron is shades. So that is just, just goes to show that it might be worth it to invest in this type of product. You do have to commit. Um, I will never tell you shades are easy and they are expensive mistakes. So you have to make sure uh, that you are trained. 
That said, um, there is a triathlon program that is in existence, and some of you may be on it um, and have ordered from Capital previously. Uh, but we are actually changing that so that you get more access to product and you also get uh, more fabric options and you go to uh, an in-person training versus online. Uh, we found a lot of people ran into mistakes when they did the online training and said their feedback told us that they wanted to actually get physical, you know, I want to install this product because I'm afraid to you know, make a costly mistake. So that is really what we changed and it's called Shade Essentials. So if you are already an account, um, you should have been approached by your Lutron representative about reapplying uh, by just filling out an application. So uh, you just need to get that. I think you can download it online. Um, if you sold a smaller amount of product, you might have to do an online certification. And then if you are new, to the program or you sold, I believe, less than $10,000 cost um, from your distributor or list price from your distributor, um, you would have to actually go to an in-person training. Now, all of those trainings are full. Um, they are coming out with 2020 dates. Um, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. Um, it is a two day, it will either be in our, our locations in um, California. So that would be Irvine, California by LA fort lauderdale florida there's also some in coopersburg pennsylvania which is our uh, lovely homeland um, that is where you would have to essentially fly to we're looking to get some in chicago um, but they are not yet scheduled and from there you would actually go to a two-day training where you would go over the entire product and you would have some installation experience so it would make you much more likely to be successful in the field and then lastly, as I mentioned previously, once you start doing shades and you're a Lutron Pro, all of your shades are automatically added to your point count. And shades actually are oh, quite a bit more expensive than an individual dimmer, so it adds up quite quickly. And um, you will definitely be able to see the benefits of selling shades through your points in general. You might get uh, more free product than you know what to do with. Uh, so definitely take that into account. So uh, Lutron product updates. What we're focusing on today are Maestro dimmer switches and sensors, updates there on the standalone and um, system-oriented product. And then we're going to go and pass Caseta uh, and then talk about routes you select. But I have Caseta up there because it is a stepping stone. And you have to know Caseta to understand why routes you select really is um, the step up in lighting control before jumping to Radio Raw 2, which is, again, that full product that you need to go to train in-person training for. So some fun updates. Um, there are a lot of Maestro dimmer sensors out there that people are unaware of. Um, this is what we would call the smart home without the smart in it, right? You don't need to put it on a smart system. Uh, maybe the client is extremely conscious of how expensive Ratsu Select is and they say, you know what, I don't want to put it in the kids' bedrooms or the laundry rooms or the closets. So uh, a good alternative is to give them the option of a dimmer sensor. Um, so you'll see we have a C.L dimmer sensor, which is a uh, CFL LED. So it can do uh, forward phase LEDs and compact fluorescence. Uh, next, you have your, maybe you would use this in more so of a commercial application, your 120 volt, uh, 277 volt, 6 amp options. Um, we've got a 6 amp PIR dual circuit. That's, you know, basically having two switches. And just so you know, these sensors are, um, it's called passive infrared. So it is using a very important technology called XC, XCT to basically bounce around the room and sense uh, if there's someone behind a door or behind glass. So it's much more likely to pick up what I would say piping level of movement would be uh, versus you know what we say having to kind of wave down a plane uh, with Lutron products that is much more, uh, much less likely. Then you have your dual text switch, six amp, um, that is using actual like radio frequency to bounce off the walls. Usually people see this in a bathroom 
And then if you found you can't find a Lutron zero to 10 volt dimmer, uh, we have a zero to 10 volt uh, option for you with the Maestro sensor. Next is if you're not quite there yet with system, which I'll run into exactly what that is if you have questions, um, you can do standalone Maestro RF products. So what you see in the bottom left here is a Pico remote that speaks radio frequency, also known as Lutron's Clear Connect, 434 megahertz. It transfers very little information, only that you want however many lights it's paired to to turn on. Then to your right, uh, you have your lamp dimmer and your in-wall dimmer, Maestro. Um, you know that they are wireless. If they have a squiggly line in the bottom left. And when you want to pair a Pico to one of these products, uh, you actually don't need internet to do this. So you would press and hold the button of the in-wall dimmer or the lamp dimmer until the LED blinks. And then you would press and hold the bottom off button of that Pico remote until both LEDs blink. So the LED on the remote and the dimmer. And from there, now you have uh, a remote control. What can you do with this? Popular applications are using it in a bedroom. So instead of saying, hey, I'm gonna put a smart product in your home, you know, some older people and some people afraid of technology might say, no, no, I don't need that. I'm good with a switch. Or you could present it to them as, here is a remote. This is what we offer standard. Um, here's a remote that you can pair to your lamps and your overhead lights so you can turn all of your lights off from your bed. Now that is a lot less, you know, scary because you don't say smart in it. And you really don't, it, you understand that, okay, maybe I don't need Wi-Fi for this. Um, and those batteries on the remote have about a 10 year battery life. And if the battery fails, it has a 10 year power fail memory. So you could take that battery out, put it back in, and it knows exactly what dimmers it was controlling. And if your lights were out for more than 10 years, <laughs> then I, I think you have bigger problems there, right? Um, so that's all standalone products that, again, if you're not quite in the system um, oriented house or you're not there yet, this is a really great place to introduce it. What is new? Um, so the Maestro Pro LED Plus dimmer. This is available in standalone and in system dimmers. So that means for RAW 2 Select and Radio RAW 2. Uh, what does it do? It is essentially what we would say your Swiss Army knife of dimmers should be. Um, it is the same price as uh, Radio RAW 2 6NA, so a, a neutral adaptive dimmer. But now um, it can do forward phase, reverse phase, MLV, and ELV with neutral optional for everything except ELV. So essentially, if you are uh, trying to control LEDs and you have no idea what's in the ceiling yet when you get to that job, this is the dimmer that you should be using. Uh, it is priced extremely competitively with our other products because we want people to use it. Um, we've learned that no matter what we do, if the LEDs are blinking, they're pointing at the control on the wall saying, it's Lutron's fault. So our goal is to make it less likely that there are issues. Um, we have the longest, lo uh, longest list of compatible dimmers, uh, compatible LEDs with our dimmers, and this is going to make the list even longer. Um, also know it's 250 watts, so that's about 100 watts more than our standard Maestros for LED. Uh, last really great thing about this product is if you're familiar with inrush current, LEDs when they're on uh, actually spike in wattage almost double um, constantly throughout their life as long as they're on. Uh, and that's called inrush current. And it has the potential to basically eat away at the life of your dimmer. This product has Artis technology which is what we use commercially to basically use a capacitor in the back of that dimmer to take in that air inrush current and disperse it over time. So you can put 250 watts of LED on that dimmer and not worry versus, you know, if you've ever counted maybe 50 watts because you don't know these LEDs are going to try and burn out that dimmer. But know that this dimmer is resistive to that. 
So next we will move on to raw to select. I'll speak a little bit to Caseta just as a comparison. So um, if you guys are familiar, we have Radio Raw 2. Radio Raw 2 is your standard large house uh, full home system, right? So every dimmer is on the system and maybe you have shades as well. Thus, you need maybe 200 devices, right? So this can do up to 200 devices. Um, it can have an extendable range wire so you can make the pool house that's a thousand feet away. Uh, put it on the system. There are in ceiling, you know, LMJ modules that you can put um, against your fixture and be able to put that on the system. And there are also wired keypads. So that's very key. You're not depending on remotes. So it's a really important and robust system. But the thing is, you do need the actual programming software to program it meaning you have to either do online, which can get you up to 100 devices. Uh, you can do that on LCI online, or you have to go to in-person training, which is uh, you know maybe twice a year in Chicago, and it costs a certain amount of money, and you have to have a computer, and you have to be able to program it there. So uh, just a little bit more work to get to you know, achieving the ability to program this product. Um, then we had Caseta. So uh, Caseta is a very popular product, honestly, everywhere. It's our fastest growing category because people understand it. You don't need a computer. All you need is that you know, little square there, that hub, which is known as the Smart Bridge or Smart Bridge Pro. You wire up all of your dimmers, you plug in all of your lamp dimmers, um, and then you use your you know, iPhone to actually program the system. So very simple, very easy, anyone can do it. Um, the one thing is that it has a limit now of 75 devices. So that's a little announcement. It was 50, it's 75 now. Um, it can only go to about a 2,500 square foot house, if that, because there are no repeaters. Um, there's one repeater and that is a lamp dimmer. And our Caseta options, you know, the dimmer options are much more limited. With Radio Raw 2, we have all of the Maestro dimmers you can imagine, and uh, Caseta is it's limited there. So um, people were saying, okay, well, uh, my client got to 50 devices or 75 devices. What now? Can I uh, upgrade to Radio Raw 2? Well, the answer was no. Um, you would have to rip out all of that Caseta product, and you basically would have to start over. Um, so what we came up with was an upgradable option. And that is where Raw 2 Select was born. Um, it is a product that uses all the Raw 2 Select dimmers. Um, that includes in-wall dimmers and also your plug-in lamp dimmers. The only difference is that it's actually programmed on the phone like Caseta. So it uses that hub, that SmartBridge Pro that is now known as the main repeater as the programming method, and there are no wired keypads. So you now use your Pico remote keypads, but again, very cost effective, lasts 10 years. It has the ability to get close and also do up to 100 devices. So what are your options here? If you're familiar with Radio Route 2, you know all of your Maestro options. We talked about a few of them before. Um, but you get your Maestro dimmers and switches, so that's ELV, that's adaptive, that's a thousand watt. You get a Maestro fan control, a plug-in appliance module for larger loads like, you know, Christmas lights. You now also use Pico Scene keypads, which are shown here. These are now stopped, so although they are a little bit more expensive than your standard light Pico, uh, you can actually get the entry bedside kitchen family room and any room Picos already engraved. And actually when you add this to the system, once you place it in a room, it automatically programs every product, every dimmer that is in that room. We'll go through exactly what that looks like. There are also repeaters, which is great. So you can add up to four repeaters, which will get you to about a 4,000 square foot home, if not more. And they add about 60 feet versus 
you use that one lamp dimmer in Caseta, it's uh, only adding 30 feet. The Maestro dimmer, extremely important to know is that there are non-neutral options available. It, it's what you know, it's probably what you've worked with, and it comes in matte finishes. Uh, this may not you know, be important to us, but it's important to the homeowner. They want, you know, they're not, they might not be into gloss anymore, or maybe they have an interior designer on the project. A lot of people feel limited with the gloss options for Caseta. Uh, also, just a little review on the Maestro dimmer in Radio Route 2. Standard Maestro dimmers, you sink, if you double tap it, it goes to 100%. Uh, if you dim it down with that rocker on the right in blue, you dim it. And then if you turn it off and turn it back on, it will go to the previous setting on a standard dimmer, standalone, but it will go back to 75% on Radio Raw 2 product. So people get confused with that when they combine both types of dimmers. Make sure you're training your homeowner. So here are your options. You've got your RRD 6ND. Um, so that is your Maestro Neutral LED. Um, this is a really popular product when you do have a neutral. Uh, great for LED compatibility. Now your new Maestro Pro. You've got your 1000 watt dimmer, your adaptive dimmer, and your dual voltage. We also have uh, a neutral switch, which is important and needed, a Maestro two-wire switch. And then what's extremely important is, you know, with Caseta, there are no companion dimmers. So now we have remote companion dimmers uh, for raw to select. So you've got your RDRD and your RDRS, which means you can do three ways, four ways, and they are actually wired. They're not just the Pico. And then our RRD to ANF, our ceiling fan control, which Caseta does now have, know that, but uh, this has existed for quite a while and it's um, really needed in a home that has a fan. And then lastly, your tabletop lamp dimmer and your dimming modules. So I'm actually gonna run through exactly what you would do to program Radio Raw 2 very quickly. And you will then see exactly how to program it without needing to log into the homeowner's uh, phone. So there's this new thing called contractor mode, which I hope all of you have been using or have heard of. This means you do not need the homeowner's username and password. As long as you are on their Wi-Fi, you press contractor setup and you put all of your information. So if they say, I need help, your information will pop up. You'll also see on that installer, um, the contractor mode setup information, that Lutron account number. Uh, if you don't know it and you have one, text me or, or email one of your Lutron people and we'll text it to you. Because that is where you would put all of your information. And if you forget to do that, you would have to go back and put it in again to get credit for all the product that you sold. Uh, unless you sent it to Capital and they would log it for you, but that is an extremely important feature. Other things, you go to add device when you get into the, get into the actual app. You select what dimmer you're going to install or that is already installed that you want to program. You press and hold. It then says, what room is this in? What type of light is it? So it's in the kitchen. It's a main light. And then it shows up in your home screen. It's a new home screen. There's quick look on the top where it says two lights on. You can turn everything off from there instead of having to go to scene and all off. Um, there's a room tree, so uh, it's a little bit more straightforward for homeowners. And then devices, scenes, and schedules are in a new format, so they're a little bit cleaner. This is just to show you that you can turn all lights off from that quick look. Now, editing keypads, this is so key. Once you've added this into a room, any light, let's say in this living room you've added, it will be automatically assigned to bright, entertain, movie, and off. So if you wanna edit that, you can go to that device, say edit device, click whatever scene you wanna adjust, and you'll see you have all of these lights available to control. Uh, and then from there, you can adjust all of the levels. Um, editing dimmers. So on ROTS you select there are advanced features, which is another reason you should do this over Caseta. You press the main lights, you go to edit, 
and you'll see you can adjust the trim and phase from that you know from that button press so uh, that is a really important feature and uh, Caseta can uh, not do that at this time so what you would do is you would select trim or phase adjust and right there you could test what the high end trim or low end trim would be uh, and then you would say hey do I want to do forward phase or reverse phase and it's easy as that key features um, it's similar to what Caseta has scheduling so a great way to sell just one product and get people started is doing outdoor lights for sunrise and sunset we've got geo fencing so it turn asks you to turn on the away scene when you drive out you know a mile outside of your home and then it turns your lights on when you come home so you never come home to a dark house and then smart away which would randomize lights that are you know visible to the public and make it look lived in the upgrade path how do you upgrade to radio raw 2 if they hit that 100 device mark you would take that main repeater and you would probably put it in your truck because that's not usable in radio raw 2 it's actually got a completely different inside um, so you would replace that with a main repeater and a connect bridge which is different than the main repeater for raw 2 select so make sure you're not uh, you know mixing those up and once you do that then uh, you would have to basically restart with your programming on the computer uh, the downside to program with your phone is you can't save pre previous revisions or create a bill of material from there but that leads me to show you that there actually is a bill of materials uh, application that we've created for ROTS you select to make it easier on you um, this is the link here. I believe you guys will all be sent the PDF, so you can just click on that or Google Lutron Raw 2 Select uh, Bill Materials uh, program. From there, you can actually just add what you want and then create, create a PDF and send it to Capital and get your product ordered. There's a time clock available that is now plus or minus four hours. So it previously was only two, but people were saying they needed more. So we gave it to you. And then you will be able to control two homes on one app in 2020. So Caseta or Ratsu Select, you can, like you can in Radio Rot 2, this is already available in Radio Rot 2. Um, you can switch between uh, you know, your vacation home and your regular home without having two logins. So big news, guys. This is where you would find the Ratsu Select Bill of Materials Generator if you logged into my Lutron or my resources. So it's just underneath that um, web apps. Some leading brands that we're working with currently to make sure everybody's on the same page. I think the biggest adder was now SmartThings, uh, Samsung SmartThings and Logitech. Those are pretty new additions. Um, no, there are some caveats with Nest changing over to being old, owned by Google. And then obviously your AV and security brands. Uh, these are currently who we are working with and uh, they are working with us really, really well. So if you have any questions on how to do that, um, a lot of it is actually going through the Connect Bridge and our, our third party iCloud integration versus directly through like a contact closure or something. So. Um, there's a lot of new stuff on that so make sure you stay up to date that is all i have for you today uh, i will open it for questions for the remainder of this time so i will drop this down thanks liz uh we'll wait and see if any questions roll in uh, we've had a lot of people online watching the webinar um, and you did an awesome job going through products going through the different lines uh, and maybe you did too good of a job because we don't have any questions rolling in yet. <laughs> That's quite <laughs> right. Yeah, well, guys, uh, if you know, we're we're gonna keep going for a little longer just to see if there's any questions. And I know how it goes. Uh, as soon as all of a sudden tomorrow, today, next week, next month, you got a project come up, and questions arise. If that happens, feel free to reach out to myself at Capital, any account manager at Capital. Uh, MRL, which is the local rep firm, uh, Liz or Lutron, uh, we're all here to help you out. We all love to hear about your projects and love to talk to you. 
Uh, we just had a question come in. Uh, the question is, can you use occupancy sensors with the select? Yes, great question. Uh, that slide actually wasn't on here, but you can add occupancy and vacancy sensors, the ceiling mount ones, and also the hallway ones to your system. Um, and you can actually set occupancy and vacancy from the app as well. Great. And are there any plans to allow custom engraving on RAW to select keypads? Another great question. That is currently available, actually. Um, we just stock those standard ones that I showed, but if you uh, wanted to, you could actually submit an engraving. You could actually Google uh, engraving Lutron Pico keypad, and from there, it would be, I think, uh, I think it's a $30 adder. You can get what you want on that keypad. Um, another thing that it said on the slide, I believe, but I didn't point out, uh, you can get Pico remotes currently in satin colors. So um, that would be your midnight, your light almond, and your snow. So uh, you can get it in that matte finish. I am a big proponent for that, that finish because, for example, I have a black gloss Pico remote on my um, end table and it gets kind of dusty and then I switched it out for one of the matte ones and it's very very high quality finish so it doesn't get dusty at all so just know that's an option as well. Great and uh, what is the cost and setup uh, steps to get, somebody has to take to get set up for triathlon shades? A great question so I believe the uh, shade essentials training the in-person one is um, $350 um, I, I do want to check. I just sent someone this. Um, yes, I just sent someone this. So let me just double check exactly how much that is. Um, um, I got Tim. Um, or Jared. I want to make sure I get it for you here. Okay, so it's about, yeah, so it's about $350 and then it would just be uh, you flying to the location and uh, paying for hotels. We do not cover it for that. Um, and then you are required to purchase, I believe, two fabric binders, but it's not the limited one that was previously offered. Um, those are about, I think, $250 each around there. It's probably a little bit more for um, the gallery designer fabrics. And then uh, I think you are required to buy one pop-up demo. So if you wanted to sell triathlon shades, that pop-up demo would be like about 500. So that's a lot of numbers I'm throwing at you. I would say about um, maybe a $6,000 investment around that. And guys, uh, if, if any of you guys are interested in it, feel free to reach out to Capital. We can put those numbers together in an email so you got specifics. Um, or or you can reach out to Lutron as well. Uh, the next question is, uh, on the last, second to last or the last slide that you had where it was showing the control partners, the very bottom, new native control for SDDP integration, what lines, Lutron lines, does that support? Is that everything Caseta, RAW2 Select, RAW2 and up, or is it just specific lines? So that, I, I believe it's everything. The Caseta, it you have to have the the Pro Bridge, the Smart Bridge Pro. Okay. And then, is the connectivity to third-party devices same as Select and Raw Two? Okay. Is the third-party? So are they all going through your cloud account, or some of them communicating just direct to the main repeater, or? Right. You know, the select the so uh, honestly, the the answer varies because some use the cloud to communicate with us via a driver that you know they've created, and they pull basically all of the scenes and devices from our app. Um, but for Radio Raw Two, because you have your contact closures, you have your VCRX devices. Um, you are able to do contact clo closure interface, and I believe there's an RS-232 as well um, 
that is all covered in the training. So if you wanted to do what we would call advanced and wired connection, like third party connection, you were able to do that um, on Radio Raw 2 versus just using the cloud for your Raw 2 Select and Caseta. And I can speak a little bit of that to you guys as mm -hmm. well. I do a lot of, uh, we do a lot of control systems at Capital Sales and integrate a lot with Lutron. And when you're doing standard Raw 2, um, I can't speak to all the control systems out there, but most of the ones that we support, uh, they're commuting, communicating direct via 232 or IP control right to the main repeater. Uh, so it's not having to reach out to the cloud. Raw 2 Select and Caseta, those normally you're reaching out to the cloud account. Not always, but most of the time. Next question, control four with Radio Raw 2, it uses Telnet uh, to the main repeater. Yes, that is, yep. So control four, RTI, URC, um, restaurant, AMX, those guys are all communicating right to the main repeater through Raw 2. They're not needing to go out to a cloud account. Mm -hmm. Great questions, guys. Uh, any other ones? And like you said before, I understand as soon as uh, we get off the uh, line, End the webinar, questions will start rolling in. Uh, if that happens, feel free to reach out, call, email, uh, whatever works best. Myself, Capital Sales, MRL, Lutron, we're all here to help answer questions. Um, I'd love to chat about projects. We love to hear what's going on out there. And brainstorm, and if there's any, uh, any things to say, hey, can this, can we do it? We like, uh, we like the challenges. Well, if there's no more questions that are rolling in, uh, Liz, I want to thank you for taking time out of your of day to go over this. Some really cool stuff. Yeah, thank you. I'm, I'm more than happy to help. And again, if you guys need anything, you let me know. But there's a lot of exciting stuff in our future and obviously from what we showed today. But I promise you there will always be more. Definitely. We look forward to that. Uh, well, guys, if there's no other questions, I'll let you guys get back to your busy days. Uh, and I just thank you and look forward to seeing you guys on the next webinar.